Ooh, I just escaped from being converted to a Mara lover. Great. Oh, okay. Still wondering where I need to go. I've got so many questions. So little answers. Hmm. I need to speak with Brawl, but... Brawl, there you are! Brawl, 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 Brawl! Hello, neighbor. I understand we have you to thank for dispensing with some would-be looters. So, thank you. Yeah, what's your story here? My story? What a strange question. You presuppose that my life is a simple linear sequence of events which can be summed up in a verbal narrative? Yes. Well, that's nonsense, of course. First, most of it was so long ago I barely remember. What about the final few Second, years? You would have to assume that the account I give you is biased heavily in my favor, and is therefore quite unreliable. I and don't finally, mind. My story is really much less interesting than this mysterious place. Now. Do you have any sensible questions, or can I get back to work? I just want to know what you do and where you're from, that's all. Well, why didn't you say so? I researched dwarven history and technology, and I'm originally from Kragenmoor in Morrowind. Any other questions? Most likely. Do you know a way out of here? I mean, you're researching this place. Now that's an interesting question. I personally don't know any way out, no. However, I have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. My thinking is that if there was a way out of here, the dwarves who built this place must have known about it. But the dwarves disappeared ages ago. True. But we can learn all sorts of things about them from what they left behind. Inscriptions, architecture, relics, statues. Yes. And while I've discovered many things here, there are some parts of the city I haven't been able to get to. Like? I'm most interested in the palace, above the lake. Unfortunately, it's sealed up tight. Only one man ever managed to enter, and he never came out. Make that, that too. was Narnibus, and we haven't heard from him in years. Strange fellow. I believe he was looking for the secrets of the dwarves too. If you could find a way in there, I'm sure it would tell us a great deal about this place. Who knows what secrets we could uncover. Yeah, about that. I found a way into the palace. Brilliant. What did you find in there? Well, it was overrun by undead, resurrected by Narnibus, uh, but he's dead. How terrible. But not unexpected. Nanabis was a reckless fellow. Yeah, he was. But did you discover something about the Dwarves' Law? Some relic or text? Yeah, something which might actually not be that great. I found this speech about the Dwarves' Law surrounded by burnt corpses, trying to run away. Let me see it. That is... disturbing. Yeah, that's what I thought. This Doritus fellow set out to disprove the existence of the Dwarves' Law and instead triggered some kind of mass execution. So the Dwarves' Law is real, and can be triggered simply by striking another person. I take no pleasure in being vindicated in relation to this. But there's something else that troubles me. If the Dwarves' Law is still being enforced, does that not suggest the existence of some kind of judge? You're right. And this judge, who watches over us, must be somewhere inside the city. I need you to find whoever, or whatever it is. And when you do... Put a stop to it. Well, I'm not going to say it out loud. But do whatever you need to do. For yourself. And for us all. Yeah. So, what can you tell me about the laws here? What do you know? Well, the dwarves who built this city left inscriptions in the citadel, which translate to, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. My research leads me to believe that if a single member of our community sins, it'll trigger an event, killing us all. I believe such an event occurred some years ago, 
which is why Metellus found the city littered with burned corpses. And why the palace is full of them. And to this day, there are many questions we simply don't have answers for. How is the Dwarf's Law still being enforced? How does it work? It must have to do with those and busts. we may never know. As long as nobody attacks or steals from anybody else. Until we know more, we all need to be on our best behavior. Yes, we need to be. So that big spinning orb above us, the sun underneath the earth, what is that thing? That is the sun under the ground. Or at least that's how it's referred to in the Dwarven text we've managed to translate. I must confess, I haven't the faintest idea of how it works. But it seems to be giving us light and allowing us to grow crops. Even under the ground. Which is nice. Of course, if it ever stops glowing, for whatever reason, we'll all be in quite a lot of trouble. But don't concern yourself with such dark thoughts. Yeah, but that happens. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. It will happen in at least seven years' time. What do you know about time travel? Time travel? You know, as it happens, I do. It was a great obsession of mine for years after... After my wife passed. I thought if I could go back, I... I gave up on that idea a long time ago. But recently, the Jarl has asked to see my research notes. How strange that you should now take an interest too. Can I ask what the nature of your interest is in this unusual subject? Well, it's because I traveled here from the future and I would love to go back. I am seven years out of place, out of time. Uh, I... Uh, I don't quite know what to say to that. Yeah, it's difficult hmm. to say. How can I put this charitably? Perhaps you're tired and emotional no. and need some rest. You don't believe me. Great. But I always enjoy discussing my theories with a receptive mind. So I'll humor you. What did you want to ask? If you travel to the past, how would you return to the present? How do you do that? Because I don't know. I'm... It feels all so wrong. For argument's sake, if you found yourself in that position, you'd have only two options. To live out your days in the past, or force a paradox. A paradox? A paradox, you see, would involve changing the past so as to prevent the events which caused you to travel back in time in the first place. But you'd be taking a big risk by doing that. Who knows what the consequences would be? Some say that whatever you do, it will lead you right back to the future that took you back in time in the first place. An eternal loop, if you will. But me, I believe that creating a paradox should fling you back to your original time, having changed the past for you and everyone else. So how would I go and create a paradox then? Well, let's say for argument's sake that you really have traveled here from the future. You could create a paradox in a few different ways. Essentially, you could do anything that would remove your means or motivation to return to the past. For example, you came here to achieve some goal. Achieving that goal would mean you will never have been motivated to come here. A paradox. Or, if the thing that allowed you to travel back in time is still here, as a past version of itself, you could simply destroy it, I suppose. That would mean, of course, that you will never have been able to travel back in time. Another paradox. But doing so could have terrible consequences. But if you really are from the future, as unlikely as that is, telling me or anybody else what happens next could have disastrous consequences too. I think it's best if we talk about something else. Yeah, this is, requires quite some thinking. I did found some immaculate dwarven armor. Could you take a look at this? Ah, yes. Most dwarven armor you see these days is quite badly worn. But this piece is still perfect. Yeah. After thousands of the years. The helmet, the gloves. It also seems to have some magical properties. It should protect you from the harmful energy down in the tunnels below the city. It all but killed Brandis when he went down there. But he didn't have a full set. If you can get down there safely. Let me know what you discover. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Come back if you think of any questions about something you discover. I will.
I certainly will. So, create a paradox. How will I go and do that? Remove the reason why I came here. I came here to find Cassia's brother. I found him, he's dead. He's dead because the dwarves locked it and he has been stuck here. The only way I can save him is to stop the Dwarf's Law from ever working. I need to get that full set of armor if I want to find out what happens here. To see if I can stop this entire Dwarf's Law from functioning, if I can open a way out, I would have never actually went down here in the first place because the brother wouldn't have been missing. I would search for the brother once I arrived at those ruins, found the brother down in the ruins and brought him back up. That could work. But then the question is how do I force that paradox to happen? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, informant tells us that Gulfar is a is a threat. Yes, he is. Such so Uldren's house was close to the whereabouts of his wife. I don't know where his wife went. I tried. She tried to open something. I don't know what she tried to open. That golden gate, maybe? I don't know. The only other clue I have is search for Dooley's hidden fortune. A rusty key. Hold your breath. It's not in the tunnels where I need my the full armor set for that so the only other thing I can imagine a rusty key why does iron rust well I don't know fully why but it, it does rust and it usually involves water and since there was that house Okay, I have to try this. I picked up a circlet of water breathing. Okay, it's... I'm not a circlet kind of guy, but it works. If this magical enchantment means I can find my way down here... Oh. Okay. Let's see. The only thing down here is this. Oh. This place is huge. Okay. I'm very happy about finding that circlet question now is where is this treasure there is a cave up there or at least an opening I don't see anything down here so this is my best bet I don't know how this is going to help me Find do this treasure and fix this stuff. But uh, oh, oh, bright, bright light, very, very bright light. Oh, okay. What are we dealing with here? People have lived here. I can see that, but this is an entire new part of the city. That's a person. Don't tell me it's another looter. Don't tell me it's another looter. Just take it easy. Just have a talk with them. A talk usually works. Usually. As long as I don't get in trouble. Argonian. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? 
I'm Marcus Wright. I'm looking for a chest which is supposed to contain something that I'm looking for. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? Join you for dinner? Well, before we do that, I have some questions first. Uh, very well, but hurry. We are hungry. Okay. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in the rest of the city? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. But just as we found it, the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are pleased to see someone in the flesh. Okay, and who is we? My siblings and I. Don't worry, we will all share in your company. That sounds nice. What can you tell me about the chest? We found it in the water down below, but we could not unlock it, so we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. That tower? Okay. And what is this place? We are not sure. A lonely tower sitting all by itself in a forgotten pocket of the earth. It is strange, is it not? Yeah, certainly. And how long have you been down here? So curious this one is. Yes, I am. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom. And whatever else we can scrounge up. Okay, well that's all the questions I had. Good, good. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat, hmm? Yeah, a question about that eating. You're obviously planning to eat me. Try it. I dare you. <laughs> it is wise not to trust us, but the wise ones taste just the same as the foolish. Oh, you're making a mistake! It's in the <gasps> our lair. Quickly! No, come on. Wrong spell. Wrong spell. Firebolt. And. You're going for us! Swing! The moment you said you were hungry, I had a feeling things would go the wrong way. No. Stop it! Yes, I heard you! So hungry. And you hurt me quite badly. Oh god. So happy to be a mage and to have some experience. <sighs> oh. Just trying to kill me. Not smart. And this is outside the city, or at least I'm defending my lonely tower key. I'm defending myself. Ow! No! Eating! <laughs> I... Not... Like your arrows! So... Hungry... Well, at least your hunger ended... For now... Ah... They were just miners... Just Argonian miners, they got under water because they were able to breathe, but they could not continue any further because they did not have the key to the place. Uh, I didn't want to kill you, but you left me no choice. Entire place collapsed. One of their own died. Hmm. Probably had to eat the other. Ah. Yeah, definitely had to eat the other. Hmm. Potion of water breathing. They, they were humans too. 
No, even though they are dead, I don't want to steal. Technically, it would still be stealing. I. I'm still bound by the rules. Har That's Harubar's chest. This belongs to Harubar. I'm not stealing this. Citadel key? That's from Harubar to Dooley. Dear Dooley, if you're reading this, or having someone you trust read it to you, it means I'm dead. I'm sorry I won't be able to look after you anymore. I want you to try really hard to remember something important. Jarl Metellus cannot be trusted. After leaving you this note, I'm going to confront him about what he has been doing in the locked room in his citadel. If I do not return, it is probably because he killed me. With this note, you will find a key to the Jarl's locked room. You'll have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You are always a better judge of character than me. They'll know what to do. Your brother, Haribal. Y'all can't be trusted? Why doesn't that come as a surprise to me? What do we have here? Black robes of restoration? And quite some gold ore. Hmm. This wouldn't be stealing. No, this wouldn't be stealing. This has been taken from the chest, I guess. This has been taken from the chest. The rest, the rest isn't mine. The rest isn't Dooley's. It just... Ah. So the Jarl can't be trusted. He probably killed Dooley's brother because he confronted him. So where did he go? What did the note say about him? Let's see... Citizen arrival log. Uh, Gulfar Haribal deceased. What did it say about? None of us also deceased. Okay, nothing wrong. City house in the upper ridge. Vacated courier herald. He found a key. He found a key to the golden gate. He found the key of the citadel. Which explains why you want to confront him. Something fishy is going on here. The question is... What? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I have to think. I have to think. I need to speak to Dooley. I need to speak to Dooley. Who is still there. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, so something is going on. And... On one part... The Jarl is behind stuff. On the other part, the Dwarven Law is still an act. I need to think about myself too right now. How do I get out of this place? Dooley. Oh, hello. About that fortune of yours. Yes, uh, what about it? I found your brother's chest. You did? What was in it? Inside the chest? A warning not to trust the Jarl and the key to his locked room. A key? Haribus left me a key. I'm confused. It was supposed to be something valuable. But it's just a key. What do we do with the key? We open a locked door. I'm, I'm going to see what the Jarl is hiding in this locked room. Oh, all right. Maybe there's a treasure in there. Maybe. A big pile of gold coins and gemstones. Maybe you could even share some of it with me. If I find some, I'll share.
Could he be hiding all the riches there? Maybe, just maybe. Hmm. This is all a very big mystery. But did I... I did not check all the houses, did I? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check the houses. I am missing something. I'll have to be fast about it though. I don't want anyone to figure out what I'm trying to do. There's one house I didn't check. One house I did not check. A few more, but one house in particular that I did not check about someone sweeping the floors of the city. A certain someone heavily interested in Mara. Enriquez is training up there. Hmm. Okay. I need to find that armor, get it somehow from him. Mm. Okay, this is the house. Everyone should be in the tavern, including her. Okay, this is my time, this is my moment. Just statue of Mara. Jessel's prayer. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this, I've passed on from this world into Mara's loving embrace. I don't have more than a few meager possessions to give away, but I leave them to poor old Dooley. My last request is that he be allowed to live in my home, and that the people here find it in their hearts to care for him. He's a sweet man with a kind soul. Jessel. That is extremely nice. If she passes on... Give it to Dooley. Give him a place to sleep. Hmm. But still not any step closer to what I'm trying to figure out. Nastasia. No. Deglant. Hmm. How am I going to do this? There are still two pieces I'm missing. Lucas chambers. My chambers. There are houses I did not check. Which one were they? This one, for one. Whose house is this? Brandon's house. Oh dear, it's dark. And there's a letter. Brandon's will. I, Brandon of the Vigilance of Stendar, make this will. I leave all my worldly possessions, including my immaculate dwarven boots, to whoever is willing to continue my mission to rid this place of the evil that lies buried beneath this city. May Stender's blessing protect you. Your boots? Where? That's empty. Where are your boots? Brandis? You there. Come over here. Do you need help? I'm beyond help. The potions do nothing. And I don't. I don't have much time. 
I just need to tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Stendar. He plants these images in my head. He shows me secrets. Made me come here. What for? What did you see? Something terrifying. Deep in the earth beneath the city. Powerful. And evil. I went down into the tunnels to destroy it. But the energy... It seeps into your bones. Please. Please, you must find a way to get down there. And finish what I... I... Brandis? Brandis, no. Oh, no. Once he died... Rest in peace, Brandis. Rest in peace. I have three parts of the set. All that remains is the armor from Rickus. Habika Miranda's house. I need to figure this out and fast. Don't want to do anything. I need to find letters. Letters from Domitus. Letter of demand? In preparation for my inevitable ascension to Jarl, I require a ceremonial suit of armor as glorious as my rule will be. A set of crusty old dwarven armor which you have dubiously cleaned with a bit of red guard spit polish will simply not suffice. I require the most glorious armor this city has ever seen. I have become aware that there are some immaculate dwarven gauntlets in the palace, tantalizingly just out of reach on the other side of the barred gate. I require you to obtain them for me. How you go about this is not my concern, I must have those gauntlets. I remind you of the privileges, privileged position you find yourself in as the manager of the Jarl's clothing and armor store. Should you fail to acquire these gauntlets, recommend to the Jarl that he find a more suitable person for his this rule. Sincerely, Dominus. I don't like that guy. I agree with all the people. I don't like that guy. Well, at least I... I already have those gauntlets. Which makes things a lot easier. He's not getting them. Rikus. Rikus. What do you want? Really no way for me to get that dwarf armor? What about it? I want it. Please. You sure I can't buy it from you? It's not for sale. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Please. I need it. Oh, well in that case, you still can't have it. Uh... Let me be clear. The only way you'll get this armor is if you peel it from my corpse. Bye. Don't give me ideas. Don't give me ideas. You're going home. 